Kenya and Haiti have entered into a reciprocal agreement aimed at deploying Kenyan police forces to lead a United Nations supported peacekeeping mission in Haiti. The agreement was discussed between Ruto and Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry with plans to expedite the deployment process. However, there is uncertainty regarding whether this agreement will override a previous court ruling in January that deemed the deployment unconstitutional. The agreement comes off a time when Haiti's capital, Port au Prince, is experiencing heightened violence from gangs, resulting in closures of business and schools as well as flight cancellations. Kenya had previously offered to deploy up to 1,000 personnel, a proposal endorsed by the United States and other nations reluctant to send their own forces. President Ruto announced the signing of this reciprocal agreement in Nairobi, emphasizing Kenya's commitment to contributing to the success of the multinational mission, citing the importance of peace in Haiti for global stability. The deployment plan faced challenges in Kenya, prompting legal action. Despite the court ruling casting doubt on the future of the multinational force, the UN Security Council had approved the mission in October. However, Kuru Aukot, who had opposed the deployment and filed a petition, expressed intentions to challenge the validity of the agreement, citing potential contempt of court. Haiti has been mired in turmoil for years, characterized by armed gangs and widespread violence, severely impacting the economy and public health infrastructure. The situation escalated when gang leader Jimmy Cherisia, also known as Barbecue, announced an attack via social Social media pledging to free the country with the support of the Haitian people. The political landscape in Haiti remains unstable, with no elected officials currently in power following the assassination of President Jovenel Moïse in July 2021. The Prime Minister Henry, installed with international backing, was expected to transfer power to elected officials by February 7th, but this transition has yet to occur. Amidst the backdrop, various functions are reportedly plotting attacks on state security forces in a bid to oust the Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Stay tuned for updates and don't forget to subscribe for more news and share your thoughts in the comment section below.